Hello, welcome to my channel, Claudemir here again. Let's talk today about Axis camera, how you can record on the SD card, okay? So here I have my camera already working via web browser, I can see here. And then I just come directly here on the settings menu. And here I have system and storage. So here you can check if you have the card or not. In this case, the card is already in the camera. So I can see here as the card. And I just need to check here to format the card to ext4. That's the format the card user to record, all right? So just remember to do that. You need to format the card before using it. And then you come here, expand the menu. And here there's a tool to check the card or to format the card. And you just need to select it and click here, confirm and wait for the camera to format the card. It takes a few minutes, you need to wait, okay? It's a mount in the system and mount is again and start formatting, okay? Let's wait to finish and then you can continue. Okay, so the card is ready to go. Now you need to create an event to record on the card, all right? So it works like that. You come here on events and there's rules. You just click here and let me just insert something here like SD card recording, just a name for my rule. And here select a condition. The condition will be every time there's motion detection, I can record on the card. But as you can see here, there is no motion detection available. There's no such options, okay? So what you have to do first then is to come here to the apps tab and enable motion detection. As you can see here, Axis Video Motion Detection is disabled. I, he I see here this red dot. So I just click here and I enable, right? I start the visual motion detection, wait for the message to pop up. Here we go, it's running. You can click here on open, it opens a new tab so you can confirm that's working. So here, visual confirmation, let's just move my hand in front of the camera. I see that's detecting, okay, pretty good. Just to make sure that's working, close this tab again and back here, I can come back to system. Okay, so well, let's come back to events. Here I have my rule, SD card recording. And now the condition, here we go. I have video motion detection version four in this case for any profile. You can create different profiles there, but I'm gonna use any profile here. Just to make it simple, use this condition as a trigger and here select the action. In this case, I want to record video. Let me just look for recording. Here we go, record video. Here's the pre-buffer and post-buffer. And here, select storage disk, SD card, okay? I hit save and it's ready to go. Let's come back to the main screen here on image. Minimize this. And here you can see the recordings, right? If you click here on the storage, I see there is no recording yet. So let me just make some motion here. Moving my hand in front of the camera. Here we go, let's create some motion. Click the menu again, and as you can see, I have one recording. Just click here, go to recordings. Pops up this menu, I click here, and here we go. That's the recording, it's working already. Pretty simple, okay? And then every time you have any recording, you're gonna see here on the live view, Clicking here on recording, okay? And remember that the camera does not record on a format that you can read on your computer. So you cannot move, remove the card from the camera and read directly to your computer. You just need to come here to this recording, to this menu and watch from here, and then you can export. And if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments. See you in the next one.